Hello everyone, my name is Brian LeDuke, and I'm going to show you how to create a really cool shading effect in Affinity Designer. Now if I expand this layer, Tony, you'll see that I have line work and color in two separate layers because these are all open paths. Everything in the line work is um, an open path. Now for shading, you know that you can clip objects to another and this is not what I'm going to be doing. I'll just show you a quick example of what I mean. So if I want to create shading to his hair, I would do this. Add black, bring the opacity down, cut. Now click his hair and have this option selected, insert inside selection, paste. And now add a Gaussian blur. And this is a really good technique. But what I'm going to show you is how to add shading to all objects all at once. So let me show you how I do that. I have this second layer um, created called shading. And I'm not going to create shading on every part of this character just because I don't want to take up that much time. I just want to show you a rough example of what you can do for this. So now I'm going into his neck object and now going into his shoulder object. And this is where I'll stop just to show you what you can do in Affinity Designer. And now have a solid fill for that. Cut. Now with the color layer, we are going to hold Command for Mac or Control for Windows and we're going to press the layer thumbnail to create a pixel selection over it. Now I'll take the Selection Brush tool, make sure Add is selected. I'm going to close in these areas. I want a border around the entire character, not object, but entire character. And I'm not going to close up all areas since the shading only stopped at his shoulder. Now with this pixel selection selected, I'm going to click on the shading layer and I'm going to create a mask. Now create, um, select the mask layer and click paste. Right. Now we can get rid of our selection, so I'll press Command D or Control D for Windows. Now lower the opacity and add a Gaussian blur. And see, that didn't take any time at all. You don't have to do every individual um, path or object. You just do. You just do this, and then add a mask. Put it into the pixel selection. And then if I move this around, see it's staying within in the um, mask area. So this is a really good coloring technique, uh, shading technique rather. So I hope you find this helpful. Have a good day.